hello everyone welcome to another video in this video i will discuss an important use case while preparing charts in dataverse in dataverse we can create graphical diagrams or graphical user interface that can display a chart whether it is a pie chart or whether it is a bar chart we can display some diagrammatical representation or physical or graphical representation by taking a set of records from a an entity okay so here you can see i have an entity called as bed allocation right in this bed allocation we have uh, two lookups one is bed lookup which is connecting to a bed and another is patient right so which patient allocated which bed that is the mapping here so i have created a chart here to display the bed and the count of patients associated with that bed but there is another requirement that is because let me open a record so that we can explain so when i open this allocation record there is a bed lookup and this bed lookup is actually associated or a child entity of word if you open this bed you can see there is a word so one word medical word is associated with multiple medical beds okay so while creating this uh chart for bed allocation it is okay it is showing two beds because there are two beds here okay two two beds one is uh, one is private ward another is private ward darwin one this is the uh, one bed and two allocation so it is showing one bed two allocation and um, there is one bed which is one allocation one percent allocation so it is showing correct uh, first a bed two allocation and second bed one allocation but all these beds are part of one word right and i want to display the chart by word the count of patients associated with one word okay how can i do that because normally when you create chart you can only use the columns that are part of your current view okay and current entity but if you want to display related entity information in your chart you have to change the view first so this is the active bed allocation view so let me go to the view first to update the related entity column so inside besides this bed i want to add another related column called as bed word so this is the related column and this is the column from the related entity medical word so i can drag and drop here so word and bed so one word can have multiple beds that is the relationship so save and publish once you save and publish you will see this word column to be used in the chart preparation so let me go to the chart where i have associated the patient count as y axis and bed horizontal axis so this time i will just refresh it and associate the word in the x axis so that it will not display by bed rather it will display by the parent word that to which the bed belongs to so i can click on this horizontal axis and choose the bed word okay you see that now is because we have associated active bed allocation view for chart preparation i can see this column so the columns that you can use in your charts are actually from your view that are displaying so click on this word now it will display render a different chart so let me use a funnel icon and click on save right now once i saved it i have to publish the entity once it is published I can test this now. I can go to the bed allocation and press Control Shift R and see how the chart is displaying. I have converted to funnel chart, so it will display funnel chart. So click on the show chart. You see, guys. Now here it is showing three allocations for the chart for the word private word Darwin. You see. Now it is showing word by patient allocation. if you change it to bed by patient allocation 
this chart render will be different right because there are two two uh, two patients allocated for one bed another one bed for one patient so let me refresh this if you change any chart you have to publish your entity so publish the entity using advanced option in the solution now if you go here in the bed allocation and refresh it pressing by control shift r now let us check now this chart will display the patient allocation by bed if you click this show chart you see guys now it is showing two and one so private ward darwin one bed two allocation two patient allocation and public bed xyz one allocation right this is showing patient allocation count by bed but last time i have updated to display patient allocation by ward because ward is the parent entity of the bed allocation right and we have added the column here which is called as parent entity you see guys so for all uh, beds the ward is same that's why if you display a chart by ward it will display three allocations understood this i hope you understand how it works see you guys bye